A plan to build towers as tall as 20 stories on the campus of Shaw University is getting pushback. Data obtained by WRAL shows more than 100 people want to speak against it all at a Raleigh City Council hearing tonight. And WRAL's Laura Levine is at Shaw University this morning with why this months-long debate is now getting heated. Good morning, Laura. Good morning, Michelle. Yes, here on Shaw University's campus, it's pretty hard to miss the signs of history, but behind me, you'll see there is a new look at the future possibilities for the campus. We're talking about Shaw U, a new redevelopment plan that some believe the rezoning will erase its history, while others say it is a great opportunity to update campus amenities. About seven people have signed up to speak up in favor of the rezoning tonight, but 141 people have signed up in opposition. The university did make some adjustments to its rezoning request, including lowering the maximum building heights to 30 stories and 20 stories on various parcels and stepping down the building heights closest to the residential neighborhood on the south side of MLK Junior Boulevard. The vice president of real estate tells us rezoning approval is vital to update aging infrastructure and to build more student housing. In an interview last month, Shaw's president shared the same sentiments. Shaw has to do these kind of things in order to be able to attract the best and the brightest to our campus. Shaw University wants to have the ability to utilize its knowledge, expertise, and partnerships to do the best for the university. So if this is approved tonight, the university and university leaders will spend nearly a year working on a master plan. That meeting begins at 7 p.m. Laura Levine, WREL News, live in Raleigh.